Cry out for Big Daddy's help. Make him think you're a little sister. Watch as he fights to protect you. So we're here to talk about plasmids today. In the world of Rapture, in the world of Bioshock, in this undersea city, uh, they have this incredible genetic technology they developed. And at first they use it to do things that they use for normal medicines they have in the world, just, just in, in cooler ways. They, they did it to heal disease, to make people smarter, to make them faster, to make them stronger. But then they started using them to develop as, as the civil war evolved in Rapture to do essentially man body weaponry. The ability to start fires with your mind, the ability to telekinesis objects, the ability to freeze objects with, with, just, with just the force of will. And the player, as they go to progress through the world of Rapture, as well as the ability to find and produce incredible weapons that they can modify and hack things in the world, they find these incredible plasmids and gain the ability to, um, to use them and to um, get more powerful with them as the game progresses. Plasmids are very different from weapons. Um, weapons obviously have an immediate lethal effect on the enemies around you when you use them. Plasmids have a lot of indirect ways of affecting the enemies around you. So, for instance, Electrobolt. When you use it on an aggressor who's walking around, it stuns them. Use Electrobolt on an enemy that's standing in a puddle of water, you could kill them in one shot. So that's what makes the plasmid so interesting, is that you really need to be aware of the world around you in order to use them to their greatest effectiveness. One of the cool active plasmids the player gets is incinerate, uh, which allows them to basically point at anything in the world, be it an AI or a flammable object, and cause it to immediately burst into flames. Some of the other cool plasmids in the game are like, for instance, cryokinesis, which normally you would think of, oh yeah, it's called cold power. You, you shoot somebody and he does cold damage, but not in Bioshock. Um, cryokinesis actually would can freeze a guy in place and he's temporarily frozen. He has a different health state at that point. So you whack him quickly enough, he'll actually shatter into a thousand pieces. So it's a way to take a really powerful enemy for a brief period of time and make him super vulnerable. And then you can shatter him until, in, into the, these little ice chunks, which is really cool if you get there in time. Of course, if you don't get there in time, you have a really angry, powerful enemy right in front of you. Some other really cool plasmas are, of course, we have telekinesis, which, you know, people have seen telekinesis in, in a lot of games, and we have all the cool features of that. We can pick up objects, toss them in enemies, um, pick up objects, light, you know, we pick up an object, hold it over a fire, light it on fire, toss an enemy, that will catch that enemy on fire. You can also do cool things like catch grenades and enemies throw at you and then throw them back at the enemy, which is something I haven't seen in a game before, but it's one of those things we were working on Bioshock. Our mantra was, well, why, why not? Why can't we do that? So we tried it and we did it. It was really awesome. And it's always that, that it will always play into that Bioshock dynamic of how can I take what's in the world? How can I take all this stuff coming at me and turn it back against my enemy? And that's, what, I think, one of the best features of Bioshock. In addition to active plasmids, there are also passive ways to modify yourself, and these are called gene tonics. And you can modify yourself in a number of ways through engineering, combat, or physical tonics. Another great gene tonic for somebody who likes a more defensive approach is one that if they get hit by an enemy attack and the enemy is near them, they'll occasionally burst out a, uh, a blast of electricity to all enemies nearby them, damaging them. So that's good for a guy who really likes getting in with the, with, with the melee weapons and fighting up close and personal. So there's just really a huge range of both these active plasmids and these gene tonics to supplement a huge range of, of character choice. And all these things sort of tie in together to really make this incredibly open-ended um, immersion experience that the player can just cause damage and, and take out enemies in dozens and dozens of different ways.